Welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and in this video, we're going to be installing Windows 10 on, on Proxmox the right way. If the lighting is terrible, um, I apologize, but it's 5.20 a.m. in the morning. Microsoft.com and download the ISO for Windows 10. Now, the second step is you need drivers for Proxmox, which I'll have it linked in the description. And download the drivers, extract the file, and get those both uploaded to Proxmox, your server. We'll give this a name. Windows 10 test. Choose your ISO image. So Windows 10. Microsoft in 10. So make sure you click the QEMU agent. Change your controller. Revert O. You want to put your bus device as SCSI, and then you can add more storage if you need to. I'm just going to leave mine as default. Also, I'll give this one four. Oh, memory, I'm going to give it four gigabytes, so four zero nine six. We'll leave this as default. Finish. Virtual machine is created. We need to go to the hardware tab of the machine. We need to add a CD drive, so we can add the drivers. So choose your storage, and your ISO image is the driver file, which is this one, and add. Right, Windows Setup, select your language, install now. I have a product key, put it in here, so you can get all the features of, of Windows. If you don't have one, just click I don't have a product key. Select the operating system you downloaded. For me, it's Windows Pro. With the license terms, because we have read all this. Do a custom install. No hard drive to install the file to, so we need to load the driver. Browse. Your drive uses where your drivers hide. Scroll down until you find the file. SCSI. Open that up. Windows 10. AMD64, click OK. This driver should pop up. Click Next. Alright, the drive's popped up. We can we can continue. And now the installation of Windows should it just work for us. So system has restarted, we'll do the last bit of the install, choose which region you live in, your keyboard layout, US, and now this will finish the install process and then after that we'll add the drivers to the system again to clear up some errors, then we'll change the graphics quality so it looks amazing. And now we'll just add our account. Now you can sign into your Microsoft account. But for this video, I'm just going to create an offline account. You can sign in later on if you want to. Home Lab Networks, of course. In any Windows install, I always turn all the, this stuff off to minimize them tracking you. I'm going to right click on here and click on the device manager. This PCI device has a little warning sign. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to update this driver. We're going to browse for drivers. And we'll select the location of the files. You click on the CD drive. The virtual machine will just search through all these files to find the correct driver. So we don't have to go through it like before. So click OK. Next. Search for drivers. Awesome. Done. This PC. CD drive. And then you, you want to see the guest agent here. Open that up. And then install C4 version. Double click that. Yes. Right, done. 
and change the re resolution to the highest you can. Much better. But that's how you install Windows 10 on a server in your home lab. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.